What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you some of the biggest changes and bug fixes in iOS 7 Beta 4 as well as a bunch of hidden features. I know you guys seem to like these videos so I figured I'd make another one and upload it for you guys on the 4th Beta which was released yesterday. If you haven't seen my iOS 7 Beta 4 review in general, check out my channel or the link in the description. And I also will link some other videos on my channel as well as in the description so just check that out for more reviews on iOS 7 in general, especially beta 4, but let's jump right into the video. So first off, a hidden feature is the new lock screen and tapping. Basically if you tap the lock screen, it will move to the right just to let you know that you slide to unlock to the right to make it easier to know. So that's a cool little feature. Uh, you can also see that the arrows on the top and the bottom of the screen actually have changed to flat little bars. You can still access all of the uh, content by sliding up and down, but it makes it a little less confusing when you go to unlock your device, which is good to see. And finally, you can also snooze alarms and lock and uh, alarms and reminders from the lock screen. If your alarm pops up, you can click, simply tap to click snooze, and it will snooze for you. So all those are great new features all, as well. Another feature is if you go in here to the lock screen, you can actually or the notification center, you can actually swipe between the today view, the all view, and the missed view on the notification center, which makes it easier to access all of your notifications. Also, if you go into the call screen here, which I'm actually going to go in right now, you can say that the design is totally redesigned. The call button is now a big bar at the bottom. You have your circles here to actually show you how to dial something. And this is what the answer and decline call view actually looks like as well. It has been updated to make, make it more polished. And you can also have the messaging button and the remind me later button about your calls when you get them uh, in the phone app. So that's redesigned. It's good to see. Uh, also, Spotlight has been redesigned. As you can see, they they had added a cancel button, and it is a lot smoother, which I am enjoying. I like that they made it a lot quicker um, in general. Also, the camera app has been updated to have the HDR button right there in the middle. It makes it easier to take HDR photos, and no one has to worry about it now. Uh, it also is a lot quicker, I've noticed, and it has a lot of new filters. The filters in the camera app are also now included on the iPhone 4S, so that is good for the 4S users out there that are watching my videos. Um, also, you can now ask Siri's question, Siri questions such as, uh, how many calories are in a burger or things like that. It has a new Q&A section built in, so I'll go ahead and do it right now. Siri, how many calories are in a Big Mac? And it'll take a little bit of time and go ahead and look it up for you, but it does work. I've tried it. If it doesn't work right now, uh, you can trust me that it, it actually has worked. Uh, as you can see, it's a little slow. I have noticed Siri is a little slow on my phone for, for a while. I don't know why, but you can actually ask Siri questions such as how many calories are in food or things like that. It is a new Q&A section, and I'm sure that will be good in the final bit, uh, version of iOS 7 this fall. Uh, they've also added new AirPlay settings in the Settings app to actually make it easier to share your content with others, uh, which I like a lot. I can't really show you that because it's not really that big of a deal, but that is different. Um, also, if you go into Settings and then you go to Notification Center, you'll be able to see that they have added a new section for completed uploads. It'll be able to show you when you upload a video or a photo to photo stream or anything like that, which is good to see. Um, another feature is if you go into music here, they have actually added shuffle all songs back into the artist's view and the whole music app, which is good. I know I was looking for shuffle all songs back there when I was trying to play music in a, overall in a while ago. Um, also, the whole operating system as a whole is much smoother. The animations are a lot quicker. I'm sure you guys noticed that just in this video alone. And it really feels a lot more solid. I no longer have the wallpaper issue that I was having and it, that bug has been fixed uh, in terms of when you go into multitasking and quit an app. I would go back to the home screen and the wallpaper would be gone. So it's good to see that they updated that. Um, and also the coding in this iOS 7 Beta 4 has been analyzed and according to multiple developers the coding in this system actually has revealed that the iPhone 5S and the new iPhone coming in the fall will include a fingerprint scanner. It seems to confirm that, which is a great hidden feature as well, uh, and I like that a lot. And overall, the operating system itself is a lot quicker, and I just enjoy it better. Those are some of the biggest changes and hidden features I've found, and a lot of the bug fixes. So. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up and favorite it, as well as subscribe. I upload regular content, so stay tuned for that. 
And also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my vlog channel in the description. I upload the, I update those on a regular basis too, so those are great ways to stay in touch with me. And also be sure to check out the link in the description, or both links in the description, uh, to get paid iOS or Android apps completely free and legally. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more content on iOS and check out my channel and subscribe, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.